Hey, Jabari, going back to last week, Coach told us that as he, as a former player himself, he tells you guys, you know, you're not going to be able to tune out the noise. You're going to hear stuff. You're going to hear about how big this game is or how great you guys are. But keep preparing the same way. Is that now that you know you're in the top ten for the second week in the row? Is that easy to do? I mean, com coming from where this program has come from. Uh, I I think it, it should be easy. It just keeps doing what we've been doing. Uh, we've been on the other side of it where we had to block noise out, uh, whether it be negative comments. So all we know is just our identity is just work and just play play like it's no tomorrow. So I think we'll be just fine. Jabari, Coach Heupel said he thought your last game you were in as physical as you have. How do you evaluate now that you watch the tape and everything and how you performed in that Florida game? Uh, I think the O-line did a good job of giving me seams to run through. Uh, my main focus was just getting getting downhill and just hitting the hole hard. Uh, I know in the SEC, those holes, uh, they close pretty quickly. So, and um, I was just ready to get back on the field. I was just happy to be back out there. How did you utilize your non-football time in your open week, and did that include much college football? Uh, yeah, I watched some college football. I really, mainly, I just got a lot of rehab and treatment. Um, but yeah, I watched a lot of college football. I felt like a fan again, so it was fun. Heupel talks about how aggressive the front four is for LSU, for your line, especially the running back unit. How do you think you're going to be able to match up against them and hopefully get those long runs in there every once in a while? Uh, yeah, they're a good team. Uh, they're a good front seven, uh, very physical, uh, ACC type of opponent. Opponent. Uh, I think we, we saw a good bit of that against uh, Pitt and, and Florida. So it's just the next challenge. Uh, we, we can't think too much about it, just play and compete to the highest level. When you guys have to go on the road and deal with uh, the crowd noise and that sort of thing, is, is the up-tempo easier to run than if you huddled? How does the, how does the crowd noise affect the communication? Uh, I think it has it, it, its advantages on, on the road, but like, um, like I was saying earlier uh, with some of my teammates, uh, it doesn't matter what time of the day uh, or where we're at. It's a uh, away game, ACC opponent. Uh, it's going to be a hostile environment, so we just got to stick to our identity, which is the tempo, and, and hopefully we'll make more plays than they make. Obviously, obviously, the team's been operating maybe a little differently with Tillman kind of questionable at the moment. How is it, though, within this offense to kind of have that next man up mentality and really be able to utilize some of the depth you all have? Yeah, it's talent all across the roster. Uh, you know, Ramel stepped in and did a good job last week, uh, played confident, uh, didn't think too much. Uh, I think that's just the name of the game. Uh, honestly, the next man has to step up. Uh, it can't be any fall off. So uh, we believe in. Uh, Ramel, just like we believe in Cedric. So, uh, each, everybody across the board is just next man up mentality. Uh, LSU's defense is one of the best in the nation's at forcing fumbles. They lead the nation in fumble recoveries. How important is it for you guys to obviously, it's always important for ball security, but how important, more important is ball security this week? Uh, it's very important. Uh, the smaller things uh, in, in these big games and these tight, Close knit games they mean mean the difference of the game sometimes. So uh, we got to be on our p's and q's and just uh, lock into the fundamentals. You know, taking care of the ball, uh, making sure uh, we're blocking, uh, making sure we're finishing runs. So uh, all those little things they add up in big games and they're a good team. So we got to make sure we do what we do. Jabari, how'd your trash talking with your uncle go after the Florida game? It's still going on. Uh, <laughs> it was fun, man. Uh, Anytime uh, I could uh, one up my uncle, I'm going to take a full advantage of that. So it was fun, uh, crazy experience. LSU is going to be the third top 25 opponent you all face this season. Do you kind of enjoy the gauntlet that this schedule feels like? How do you all thrive in these situations? Uh, I've learned to embrace it, yeah. Uh, I think last year, I, was, I noticed we had a pretty tough schedule, but uh, that's just that's just how you know, Tennessee is. We, we play the best teams every year. Uh, nothing's easy about our schedule. Nothing's easy about how we, uh, how we win. We, we have to earn everything. So uh, I'm very excited about it, and it's a challenge. Uh, 
uh, obviously you play on the offensive side of the ball, but with Warren Burrell being out on the defensive side of the ball, looking from a broad picture, who have you seen step up into a leadership role on that side of the ball now with Burrell out? Uh, in the secondary, uh, all those guys stepped up. Uh, Kamal Haddon, uh, Christian Charles, uh, obviously Trey Flowers and Jalen McCullough played a lot of football, but uh, a lot of those guys have stepped up. And, and like I said before, it's a next man up mentality. Uh, you know, we work hard across the board. It doesn't matter the depth chart. Or doesn't matter the depth chart. So uh, all those guys have stepped up tremendously. You watch the games on Saturday, and there's there's a lot of you guys from the Memphis area that are not only starting but playing big roles, playing key roles. When you sit back to think about it, but on both sides of the ball, how how unique, how how cool is that? It's real cool. I keep up with a lot of those guys, uh, even at other colleges. Uh, it's amazing just to see how fast it happened. I remember Memphis used to be a basketball city. Now I turn on football anywhere. Somebody from Memphis that I grew up with playing basketball with. So it's a very cool dynamic. And um, I keep in touch with a lot of those guys. So uh, yeah, it's cool.